Welcome to the minor basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Today is Saturday of the 15th week in ordinary time. We will now have the morning prayer of the church integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my, and my mouth, mouth shall declare your praise. Come, let us worship Christ, the Son of Mary. Come, Come let, let us worship Christ, Christ, the Son of Mary. Mary. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, Come let, let us worship Christ, Christ the, Son the Son of Mary. The Lord is God, the mighty God the great king over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come, Come let us worship Christ, Christ, the Son of Mary. Mary. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Come, let us worship Christ, the Son of Mary. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Masha they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Come, let us worship Christ, the Son of Mary. Forty years I endured the generation. I said, They are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swear in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, Come let us worship Christ, Christ, the Son of Mary. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, Come let, let us worship Christ, Christ, the Son of Mary. visited. Lord, you are near to us, and all your ways are true. I call with all my heart, Lord, hear me. I will keep your comments. I call upon you, save me, and I will do your will. I rise before dawn and cry for help. I hope in your word. My eyes watch through the night to ponder your promise. In your love, hear my voice, O Lord. Give me life by your decrees. Those who harm me unjustly draw near, they are far from your law. But you, O Lord, are close, your commands are truth, 
long have I known that you will be established forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Wisdom of God, be with me, always at work in me. God of my fathers, Lord of mercy, you have made all things by your word, and in your wisdom have established man to rule the creatures produced by you, to govern the world in holiness and justice, and to render judgment in integrity of heart. Give me wisdom, the attendant at your throne, and reject me not from among your children, for I am your servant, the son of your handmaid, a man weak and short-lived, and lacking in comprehension of judgment and of laws. Indeed, though one be perfect among the sons of men, if wisdom who comes from you be not with him, he shall be held in no esteem. Now with you is wisdom who knows your works and was present when you made the world, who understands what is pleasing in your eyes and what is confirmable in your comments. Send her forth from your holy heavens and from your glorious throne dispatch her, that she may be with me and work with me that I may know what is your pleasure. For she knows and understands all things, and will guide me discreetly in my affairs, and safeguard me by her glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord remains faithful to his promise forever. O oh, praise the Lord, all you nations. Acclaim him, all you peoples. Strong is his love for us. He is faithful forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Today we also celebrate the memorial of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. May the venerable intercession of the glorious Virgin Mary come to our aid, we pray, O Lord, so that fortified by her protection, we may reach the mountain which is Christ, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Micah. Woe to those who plan iniquity and work out evil on their couches. In the morning, light they accomplish it, when it lies with their power. They cover the fields and chase them, houses, and they take them. They cheat an, on an owner of his house, a man of his inheritance. Therefore, thus says the Lord, Behold, I am planning against this ways and evil, from which you shall withdraw your necks. Nor shall you walk with head high, for it will be a time of evil. On that day, a satire shall be sung over you, and there shall be a plenty stand. Our ruin is complete. Our fields are portions out among our captors. The fields of my people are measured out. And no one can get, can get back. Thus, you shall have no one to mark our to mark out boundaries by lot in the assembly of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Do not forget the poor, O Lord. Do not forget the poor, O Lord. Why, O Lord, do you stand aloof? Why hide in times of distress? Partly, the wicked harass the afflicted, who are caught in the devices 
the wicked have contrived. Do not forget the poor, O Lord. For the wicked man glories in his greed, and the covetous blasphemes, says the Lord, at naught. The wicked man boasts, he will not advance it. There is no God, sums up his thoughts. Do not forget the poor, Roland. His mouth is full of cursing, guile, and deceit. Under his tongue are mischief and iniquity. He lurks in ambush, in the villages, in hiding the murders the innocent. His eyes spy upon the unfortunate. Do not forget the poor, O Lord. You do see, for you behold misery and sorrow. Taking them in your hands, on you the unfortunate man depends. Of the fatherless, you are the helpers. Do not forget the poor, O oh Lord. Please stand. God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ, entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The Pharisees went out and took counsel against Jesus to put him to death. When Jesus realized this, he withdrew from that place. Many people followed him, and he cured them all. But he warned them not to make him known. This was to fulfill what had been spoken through Isaiah the prophet. Behold, my servant, whom I have chosen, my beloved, in whom I delight. I shall place my spirit upon him, and he will proclaim justice to the Gentiles. He will not contend or cry out, nor will anyone hear his voice in the streets. A bruised reed he will not break, a smoldering wick he will not quench, until he brings justice to victory. And in his name, the Gentiles will hope. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Not too long ago, I think this was last year, my news item about uh, an old man na namitas ng manga, hindi naman niya manga, namitas ng manga and then uh, ura-urada, uh, nakasuhan siya. And uh, people were commenting kapag ka, bakit ganun kabilis na nakasuhan ka agad yung matanda, manggalan. And then lately, uh, we also encountered in the news or read in the news about uh, yung uh, traffic enforcer na nasagasaan o sinagasaan and yet uh, took time para ma-apprehend. Again, the netizens and the people commented, kung mahirap yan, matagal nang ang nakagawa niyan, matagal nang nakakulong yan. Matagal nang napusasan yan. And yet, the one who, the one, the perpetrator, was just invited initially. Um, if you also 
think of the war against drugs. At kapag katitingnan niyo po yung mga yung statistics nung ilan doon sa mga naging biktima ng war against drugs, yung mga napatay, mga napahirapan, siguro nasa 75 to 80 percent or 90 percent or even higher, karamihan doon may hirap. Kaya nga hindi maiwasan na magtanong na naman yung mga tao Uh, mukhang itong laban na ito ay laban lang karamihan para sa mga may hirap. And we are again reckoning or, uh, on the question of the desaparecidos, yung mga nawawala. No? Hindi na malaman no? uh, kung ano yung mga nangyari sa kanila. I cannot but think about those people because of the gospel that we read today and even the first reading, and even the, the Psalms. Sapagat ang tema po ng ating mga pagbasa sa umagang ito ay justicia, the justice, and poverty. Um, doon sa mga binasa natin, ang strong ng link between uh, injustice and justice at saka poverty. Mukhang kapag tinitingnan po natin, the stock are against the poor. Yung mga walang wala, mas mahirap makakuha ng kustisya. Kaya nga naman, hindi maiiwasan na marinig sa kanila yung mga pagtatampo. Yung pagtatampo, or lamentation, or even accusation na porke mayaman, porke kami mahirap, mas madali kaming maparusahan. Mukhang hindi balanse ang pagtingin ng uh, lipunan sa mga mahihirap at sa mga maikaya. It's easy pa for them to be penalized than those who have. And uh, the question that would always come up ay, bakit ganun, Lord? Bakit mukhang kung sino pa yung uh, na gumagawa ng mabuti kung sino pa yung uh, kung sino pa yung gumagawa ng uh, karumal-dumal sila pa yung they go scot free mas uh, mahirap may kaya daw nga kasi meron kasi and it's difficult pagka sinuyod nyo ang mga kulungan sa ating mga bayan-bayan dito sa Pilipinas akikita nyo po ang demographics nyan nakararami dyan 75% ay hirap. Kaya hindi mo mai di mo maiiwasan na the stocks of in of justice are placed against the poor. Um, the gospel that we read today and even the first reading and then the responsorial psalm is a very good consolation. And in fact, this is a good reminder to all of us that at the end, may justicia. Hindi man dito sa mundo, pero may justicia lagi ang Panginoon. We've been preaching about mercy, we've been preaching about forgiveness, but justice is part of mercy and forgiveness. It's always something that is reminded to us that our God is a just God. May justicia sa mga nawawalan ng pag-asa dito sa mundo dahil sa nakikita ninyong walang justicia, hindi pantay ang paningin ng tao, you expect that from people. But in God's eyes, there is mercy and there is also justice. In the end, lahat naman po Lagi ko po itong sinasabi na yung, kung yung Diyos ay mayroong kamay at yung kamay niya, yung left hand niya ay kamay ng awa at yung kamay niya, ang kanang kamay niya ay kamay ng hustisya. Our God would always ask us to fall under the hand, into the hand of mercy. Dito sa awa, dito tayo maluklok, dito tayo mahulog. Pero kapag ka hindi, Meron pa siyang isang kamay, and this is the hand of justice. 
ang joke nga po namin sa theology during that time, kung ganon, komang ang ating Diyos, sapagkat mas mahaba yung kanyang kamay ng awa sa kamay ng hustisya. And they would always ask us, fall into this hand. But if you don't, there is another hand that you, need, you will be falling into. And this is the hand of justice. Hey friends, the last, marami sa atin, pagod na rin magbasa ng dyaryo because of the injustices that we encounter there, because of the injustices that we hear and then that we read. And at times, we would even question, may Diyos nga ba? Pantay nga ba ang pagtingin ng Diyos sa lahat ng tao? Bakit yung mga namamayagpag, eto yung mga nagpapahirap, yung mga makasarili, yung mga pansarili lang yung tinitingnan. Bakit yung common tao na nasa baba na nga ay hirap-hirap pa rin makaakyat, hirap-hirap pa rin makatayo? Those are existential questions. Those are questions that we ask regularly. But the consolation in the gospel is that, ang ganda nga po ng ng ano eh, ng, ng responsorial psalm sapagkat yung responsorial psalm is a prayer do not forget the poor O Lord and the Lord will never forget the poor bakit? wala na ngang ibang matakbuhan siya pa kaya ay hindi matatakbuhan we have a God who is a merciful God but let us not forget that part of mercy is God's justice Again, I am always reminded of what an Ilonggo Dominican would always tell me kapag I would be complaining about these injustices. Sabi niya, Stephen, huwag kang mag-alala, may Diyos man give. In the end, our God is not just a merciful God, but our God is also a just God. Can you all stand? Let us turn to God, our merciful Father, who never turns His back on the poor and on those in need. And let your response be, Father of the poor and the weak, have mercy. Father of the poor and the weak, have mercy. That the church may be seen as the home of the weak and the poor, we pray. Father, Father of the poor, the poor and, and the weak, weak have, have mercy. mercy. That those who hold public office may truly render service to their constituents in the right spirit, we pray. Father, Father of the poor, the poor and the weak, weak have, mercy. have mercy. That consecrated persons may, ded may dedicate their whole lives to God and to the church through their witness of life, we pray. Father of the poor and, and the weak, have mercy. That we may look with compassion and understanding to those who suffer and those who are ill, we pray. Father of the poor and the weak, have mercy. For our brothers in ministry at Ruma Biara Santo Dominicus and Ruma Santo Thomas Aquino, Indonesia, St. Dominic, Sri Lanka, St. Antoninus Davao and General Santos, Kamigin and Kalayan, we pray. Father of the poor and the weak, have mercy. For the intentions of this Mass, the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, and for our personal intentions. We pray, Father of the poor and the weak, have mercy, that the dead may experience the saving power of God. We pray, Father, Father of the poor, poor and the weak, have mercy. We also pray in a very special way for all those who continue to seek for justice and find it elusive here on earth, that they may find consolation in the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Father, Father of the poor and the weak, have mercy. We also remember those who perish during the 1991 earthquake that those who are still reeling from the pain 
may find also consolation in the Lord. We pray also for the eternal repose of their souls. We pray to the Lord. Father of the poor and the weak, have mercy. Merciful Father, make us true servants of your love. May we become more and more like your Son, who came to serve and not to be served. This we ask in the name of Jesus our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed be you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed be you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord take the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with us in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 no. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, 
he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Archbishop, Fidelis, our Auxiliary Bishop, Gerard, the Master of the Order of Preachers, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and on in shores forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. Please hold stand. Once again, we are being reminded that we belong to one family and we have a merciful and just Father who allowed us to call Him as our Father. graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, for kingdom, the kingdom, the power, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, peace I live you, my peace I give you, 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, in Christ, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Now blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Body, blood, Christ, be to Please all stand. Let us celebrate with great devotion this day in memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary. May she intercede for us with the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has the raised up for us a mighty Savior. Savior. Born of the house of his servant David, through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my, my child, child shall be called the prophet of the, the Most High, high. For, for you will go before the Lord to prepare His way, to give His people knowledge of salvation by, by the forgiveness of their, of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us celebrate with great devotion this day in memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary. May she intercede for us with the Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may by imitating her serve worthily the mystery of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Bago ko po ibigay yung final blessing, maraming maraming salamat sa pakikiisa ninyo sa banal na misa.
sa pagdalaw po ninyo sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Tuloy po kayo na makakaasa ng aming panalangin para sa inyo, sa inyong kalusugan, sa inyong mga pinagdadaanan sa buhay. Uh, we will continue to pray for you at patuloy rin po ang paghingi namin ng inyong mga panalangin para sa aming mga nagsisilbi dito sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass ascended, go in peace to love and serve the Lord to one another. Thanks be to God. We shall now say the prayer po para po sa blessing ng mga may sakit dito at sa nasa bahay, nasa hospital. We pray for them and this is to be followed by the prayer for the blessing po ng inyong mga religious articles. At pagkatapos po ng dasal natin, just stay in your place. Kami na po ang iikot to bless your religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. God our Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward the sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Para naman sa inyong religious articles, let's bless them. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may your religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.